Okay, folks, so today we're going to be doing another Insidious from Asylum, but this time it's the Maduro. So, um, we saw in the previous video the Connecticut. Shortly after the, the success of the Connecticut, they came out with the Maduro, and I will tell you, this thing is supposed to be a very very interesting blend the maduro wrapper it's going to be the same in size as the connecticut but the maduro wrapper is a san andreas mexican wrapper that's gonna theoretically add a lot of spice to the already mild smoke um the creamy smoke so let's get into it and uh start this review We're going to be doing a flat cut on the tip today. Okay, there we go. Mmm. Sweet cap, just like we had on the um, Connecticut. Um, very, very sweet. It, uh, on the Connecticut, it lasted for quite a while. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I expected to do so on here. But the draw, the draw is giving me creamy, um, cocoa, like hot chocolate. <coughs> With the addition of, I uh, like a cinnamony spice, cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, I'm excited to try this one. Uh, let's get into it. Plenty of fluid in here. It is uh, fighting me because it is 30 degrees out and pouring rain, so very wet, very cold out today. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's um, full of a ton of chocolatey and spicy flavors, but it's very light, just like the Connecticut was. I'm excited to get through this one with you. Okay, folks, we're experimenting a little bit with the audio on these insert portions of the video, so bear with me if it doesn't come out perfect. We will get there. So today we are reviewing the Insidious Maduro by Asylum. This is Simply Being Shipley, your cigar and pipe channel. It is your unconventional guide to cigar and pipe culture, a real channel for real enthusiasts. Okay, so this scar is made by the CLE Cigar Company. The Asylum Insidious Mandoro Cigar is the evil twin to the Connecticut. It brings darkness and spice to a mix that is already a success. This decadent blend is still mild and milky smooth, but it has a rich flavor and aftertaste. This is achieved by the Mexican San Andreas wrapper that is so dark and oily it's likely to steal your soul. Asylum, along with its sister company, CLE, as presented in the last video, 
is a bare crop science certified farm. Simply put, it means that every acre of the land and every nook and cranny of their factory floors are kept at a strict 99.9% .9 level of hygiene. There are no toxic chemicals at any time. Everything is food grade. It is painstakingly uh, and lengthy process to undergo. But for Tom Lazuka, the founder and owner, it's worth the effort. It's more expensive to do that, but it's our commitment to our products, he says. Every step of the way is to eliminate our impact on the environment, he noted. This is from the famous Smoke website. Okay, let's get into our alcoholic pairing section. Today, like on the last video, I'm going to use my own opinion. I chose Young's Double Chocolate Stout. Why? Pouring dark brown with a modest beige cap that leaves spots of lace on it, the aroma of chocolate malt with hints of dried fruit indicate a more tart than sweet brew. The flavor is slightly sweet chocolate malt with tangy wood hops uh, and minor roasted malt and coffee flavors. The smooth, medium weight mouthfeel, and it has very, very light chalkiness. This is a problem with stouts. Normally, you have to deal with the chalkiness. Not so much on this one. Lots of subtle character pair well with the texture and spice of this Asylum cigar. Now, this cigar is only going to come in three main sizes. 5x50, which is the Robusto. 6x52, which is the Toro, and the Gordo, the one we smoked today, at 7x64. These prices are based on average retail for February of 24. The blend, the San Andreas Maduro. Binder and filler are both Honduran. The package. The blend features an uncharacteristically smooth profile and sweetened cap. Smooth draw, but firm feeling this is definitely a pleasant-to-hold cigar. Let's get into the smoking section. Okay, so we're about an inch in. There's a little bit of uneven burn, nothing bad. I don't think that it's going to require a touch-up. <coughs> if it's like the other Asylum cigars, um, it'll catch up with itself and straighten out. So we're going to keep going. It has gotten a very consistent chocolatey spicy flavor you know what i'll give you an example my personal favorite hot chocolate bar none and i know it's probably not the healthiest like all good tasting things are but is the land of lakes hot chocolate because it is very spicy very rich um but not thick it's not thin it's the medium consist consistency but that's what the chocolate in here is like. You got cinnamon and all these little spices floating around in this. Um, very light smoke, lots of flavor. Um, the sweetness on the tip is, is excellent. Yeah. I'm in the middle of recording and I'm actually talking right now on the video. What do you need? Well, I found my raincoat. Sweet, go inside, please. Thank you, I love you. So, so the um, behavior of it is very good. Smoke is strong. Um, very, very light uh, draw, even though there's quite a bit of firmness to the stick. So, well, actually, you can see this is already starting to autocorrect itself on the burn. I have no idea how it does that. So, um, Let's get back to smoking and we'll talk some more in a little bit. Okay, folks, so we got about another half an inch in, so we're about two and a half inches approaching three. And you'll see it is almost completely auto corrected, the burn around the edge. Um, so if you get one of these and you start smoking, you start to see a little uneven burn, do not touch it up. Just take your time, keep going. Um, there's some magic and wizardry within the stick that will auto-correct itself. Okay. 
Okay, folks, and as you can see, the ash is holding together very well. It is about three and a half inches long. So, doing good. It is leaning just a little bit. But you also see that the burn is corrected. It's pretty even all the way around now. Excellent. <coughs> Okay, so now that we're halfway through, ish, getting almost halfway through, the flavoring has been consistent. Um, yeah, it gives you a very comfortable feeling, a very low buzz uh, to the um, mental effects. It's very relaxing. Um, at no point has this been, or do I expect it to be overpowering in any way, shape, or form. There's still plenty of sweetness on the cap. Um, wrapper is almost identical. Yep, almost identical to the Connecticut. Very hard to tell any differences. Um, doing extremely well. The cap not unraveling or collapsing at all. Very good construction. Yeah, just a great relaxing early morning smoke. Okay, folks, we're getting down to the band, and it's time to take the band off. Let's see if this lives up to um, the normal standard from Asylum, which is to come away cleanly, no extra sticky on the wrapper. And it sh even though it's a thin paper band, it should pop. I love that sound. And right on off. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect removal. Well, folks, as we're sitting here in my garage enjoying a little bit of warmth, it has started snowing outside. So let's take a break from the cigar and go take a peek. So what we have here is a combination of rain and snow coming down at the same time. Here's some of the shots of the property. It goes way back up. There's a road over there on the other side of those trees. And there's the driveway going off the property. Wow, this is pretty cool. Okay, I'm getting down to the last couple inches here. There's about two and a half inches left. I'm going to enjoy the end of this while we start editing this video to get it put up here on uh, YouTube. If there's anything that you have a question about, please leave it down in the comments. And uh, I'll definitely answer them right away. Um, thank you for joining us on all of our reviews. Got some cool things coming out the next couple days. Um, if things go according to plan, we're going to have a, another history uh, video coming up. So I look forward to seeing you on that one. In the meantime, let's get back to the review. I don't know what direction it's going to come from. Probably that way or, or that way. Definitely not from down there or up there. But here we go. I do want to stop here real quick and say thank you to all of you for helping us achieve the status of an official media channel. Um, and we are going to be going to the 2024 PCA convention in Las Vegas that runs from March 22nd through 25th. If you have any questions that you'd like me to ask of the Master Blenders while we're there, um, or just any notes on upcoming product, please let me know and I will do so. In the meantime, let's go on. The rating and final thoughts. I am very pleased with this cigar. I especially love it in the larger sizes, and so will you. If you have the time, that is. The flavors, the construction, and the after effects are very mild and sweet. I definitely recommend that you try this one. My ratings on a scale of 1 being low to 10 being high are the same for the Connecticut. The build's a 7, the draw's a 9, flavors a 9, smoothness is 9, 
The consistency is an eight. Is it worth to be purchased by the box? Yes, especially if you like morning cigars. This is a great way to start your day. Thank you for joining us on this review, and we'll see you on the next video.